The next technique we'll take a look at is using the quick selection tool. Even though it's a bit tricky to master, sometimes it's pretty useful so it's a good technique to keep in your arsenal. Just like the magic wand tool, the quick selection tool shares the same position and context menu. The tricky part with the quick select tool is constantly having to change your brush size in order to make selections in different parts of the image. See, if I try to select over here, the selection works just fine and in areas like this one, but if I need to select a very very specific part of the background such as over here, I'll need to lower down my brush a lot. If you constantly need to change your brushes, I would advise using the left and right bracket key, left one decreases and right one increases, and you can quickly maneuver around different brush sizes until you finally select your entire background and then delete it off and enjoy the results.